Hey guys, so February has come to an end, so that means it is favourites time yet again. This like year is flying, like going by so fast. I know it's only February, second month of the year, but we're at the end of February already and I just feel like it's going so quickly and I don't know what to do, but today I thought I would show you some of my February favourites. There's actually not that many because I haven't really been loving certain things, more just like life in general, but I have a couple of things to show you. Well, one item and then the other ones are just things that I'm talking about, so it might be a little bit boring, but if you stick with me to the end, thank you. But yeah, here are some of my February favourites, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is this coat. Now, I'm in love with this coat so much. I was in Pull and Bear and they had this coat on sale and I was like, I'll try it on, see what uh, it's like. And I fell in love with it instantly. It is um, like a duster coat, but it's also sort of, I call it a duster boyfriend coat sort of, because it's the duster style and length a bit, but it also has a bit of that boyfriend style. So it's a bit oversized. It's not the most flattering coat, let's say, but I just love it so much. Um, it's in this gorgeous, I don't know if they'll pick it up on camera, in pictures it seems to come up as like brown but it's actually this gorgeous khaki like army green colour and it's quite, not heavy but it's like a winter coat as well, I just love it so much. I have a blog post read it on my blog if you want to go check out the pictures there but I got it for, it was supposed to be 70 euro I want to say and I got it for 30 so I was like yes please but I've literally worn it like non-stop probably nearly every day in February since I bought it and I just feel like it makes any outfit even if I'm just wearing like jeans and a t-shirt if I throw this on over it I think it just makes any outfit look instantly more stylish if that makes sense and um, it's one of those pieces that you wear it and you just think yes I look good today even if you're wearing just like a tracksuit and a horrible old t-shirt and your hair is a mess but when I throw this on, coat on I'm like yes I look good and I look like fashionable so I have absolutely been loving 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 this coat for like the last month oh yeah i think i only bought it in february so yeah i've been loving it for the whole of february every single day and i think it will still be okay our weather it's maybe spring but it's still a bit cold uh here so i'm going to be able to wear this for probably i'd say at least another month or so so can't wait to get on that Okay, so that's really the only physical thing I have to show you. The next things are just things I've been loving. One is a book, which I don't actually have here with me at the moment, but it was The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel by Deirdre Mugguk. Um, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mugguk. I don't know. Um, but it is so good. I got it for Christmas and I had seen the film. There's a film out of the exact same name as well, but I didn't know there was a book. I only found out there was a book before Christmas. So I got the book for Christmas as a present and I finished that just last week and it was so good. I loved the film so much. So I was really excited to read the book as well. And the book was actually really good. It was slightly different to the film as books are, are bleh, start again, as books always are slightly different to the film, but it was still really good. It's about these two brothers who set up a retirement home in India in this um, old hotel. So it's the Marigold Hotel. And then it's about these um, elderly people from England going over to India um, to stay in this hotel. It's like a retirement home, but it sort of follows their journeys and you see people like changing and like new relationships like and friendships forming and everything. It's just a really heartfelt, like lighthearted, really nice, easy to read story. And I think I read it in about two days. <laughs> so I just kept plowing through it because it was so good. Um, but yeah, I've written a blog post about that book as well so I'll leave that in the description. I've been going crazy on my blog, that's another thing I've been loving um, this month. Literally I have been sticking to my, I've done two blog posts a week I think every week and I've been so enjoying it. I think it's just a, really nice for me to just like get all my thoughts down onto something and then people like them and stuff and it's just really great. So that was just a side note, I've been loving my blog but back to the book but yeah the book I would really recommend if you're looking for just a like light-hearted, easy to read book that like doesn't really get you down or anything, um, it's I would really recommend it. And also the film as well. The film um, is so good, it's so happy and joyous and they're also bringing out a second one I think in, I don't know whether it's this month or next month or something like that, but they're bringing out the second one. So I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting to see where that goes because 
I don't think there's a second book and I don't know where they're going to take it so I can't wait to see that as well to see what that's all about. So that is The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. Okay my next thing, I'm probably a little bit late to the party on this but my next thing I've been loving is Tumblr. Now I only really signed up for Tumblr this month um, and it's because I've gotten quite into photography and that and I always see these amazing pictures and they're always like on people's Tumblrs and everything and then I always see amazing like quotes and all and they're all Tumblr things as well so I was like I really should get on this Tumblr bandwagon so I signed up and <laughs> I am in love with it. I can just like scroll through for like hours just like looking at new things. I follow lots of like photography and like um quotes in that and they're just amazing. I literally am in awe at some of the photos I see. It's so good but yeah I'm absolutely loving 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 Tumblr um, for like the past month. I just think it's amazing. I don't know why I wasn't on it before but now that I am I am complete Tumblr convert. I am in love with it so much and I will leave my Tumblr down below if any of you guys want to go check it out. This uh, description mark is going to be a lot of just self-promotion, my blog, my Tumblr, but oh well, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> but yeah, so I've been absolutely loving Tumblr um, so much this month as well. Okay, now this next one as well, I'm probably a little bit late on the bandwagon too, but it is The Vampire Diaries, the TV show, because I finished White Collar, which was in my last month's favourites, and I was looking for a new TV show on Netflix, and I saw Vampire Diaries, and I have watched some of the originals, which I think is like a spin-off of it, because it's like the same sort of vampire like that type of thing, vampires and witches, so I thought, hey, I'll give Vampire Diaries a show, a Vampire Diaries a go and uh, see what happens and oh my god I am in love with it. I had to make myself take a break from it because I think I started watching it and I think I got through like 18 episodes in probably like four days or something and these are like 40 minute long episodes as well so I was a little bit hooked so I had to take a little bit of a break but I'm now back to it and I just I'm in love with it so much it's so good and I don't know why I didn't start watching it before <laughs> but it's great to have it on Netflix as well because there's no ads and I can just go straight to the next episode which is sometimes a little bit bad as well because I'll be watching it and I'll be like oh my god I have to watch the next one and it could be like 12 o'clock at night and I'll have college the next day but I'm like oh just one more episode but I love it so much it's about um vampires these two brothers uh Damon and Stefan and then Stefan is in love with a girl Elena who it's hard to explain but it's really good it's like vampires there's some witches as well it's all and it's sort of just like they're teenagers well the vampires are stuck in teenage bodies but they're actually like 100 years old but um, like Elena is in high school I think or college I'm not sure but it sort of like follows their relationship and then things happen and yeah it's just action packed and fun and I would recommend if anybody wants a new TV show to watch um, go watch Vampire Diaries because I am in love with it so much I'll probably go watch it after making this video because I just have to see what happens next <laughs> but yeah so that is The Vampire Diaries I have been hooked throughout February and I probably will be because I'm only nearly finished season one so I'm way behind but I will catch up don't worry um so I still have there I think there's another three se seasons on Netflix to go so can't wait to watch those and then I have to go find the next I think there's five or six series I think they're on series six now or something so I have to go try find them somewhere else afterwards but I'll figure it out but yeah go Vampire Diaries Okay, so my final favourite this year, what well, this year, this month, um, was turning 21. I turned 21 on the 17th of February and it was so nice to go home. I had a party with my family and friends and it was great just to see everybody, have a little party and then I turned 21, which is so weird to me. I feel really old but I know I'm not which is strange when you're younger like your milestone birthday that you're looking forward to it's always like 18 and then like 21 and then you're like a proper adult so I feel like I'm a proper adult now which is really weird but yeah it was so great like having a party like seeing all my family and all friends who I haven't seen in ages and then also two of the girls from Erasmus came home with me as well and they came to the party too which was so nice um, and yeah it was just great it was so nice. I got some really nice presents. I got spoiled, um, which I was amazing. So thank you for anybody who's watching this. If you got me a present, I am so grateful for them. I got really spoiled. Um, 
but yeah it was just so nice to have a party turn 21 and yeah now it's I don't know what's gonna happen from here 22 next and then it's just keep going older and older it's really weird I still feel like I'm like 16 or 17 or something I don't feel like I should be 21 but oh well I'm sure many people feel like that uh, but yeah so it was great to turn 21 have a little birthday party and um, so that was another one of my favorites Okay, so that is it for my favourites for this month. It was a little bit of, I suppose, a chatty favourites because I didn't really have many things to actually show you and tell you. They're just sort of thing, other things I've been liking. But I hope you liked it anyway. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you want to subscribe for more videos, the button down there. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this month. And I hope you liked it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.